Now, I know that you've heard me say many times, or you've read or, or on the, listened on the tapes, that loving yourself is the most powerful thing we can do. I think that everything you think and everything you speak goes out from you into the universe and comes back to you multiplied. What good is a nice car if you are full of resentment all the time? There is a law of thinking and we are beginning to learn about it and it is like a computer. Everything we give out can help people really improve the quality so of their lives. See, when there's problems, we don't have to fix problems so much. We need to fix our thinking. Because there's something very powerful about looking in your own eyes and getting and accepting yourself. When I get to a really good level, then it's like, okay, now we're going to deal with this thing. I say thank you many, many, many times of the day, often not to anyone else. I just, you know, oh, thank you. That's so wonderful. See, I have this, one of my thoughts about life is that only good lies before me. She's an American motivational author. She's the founder of Hay House, a new thought and self-help publisher. She has authored several new thought self-help books, including her 1984 classic, You Can Heal Your Life. She's Louise Hay, and here's my take on her top 10 rules for success. Now, I know that you've heard me say many times, or you've read or, or on the, listened on the tapes, that loving yourself is the most powerful thing we can do then everything flows. Everything flows beautifully. And I'm not talking about vanity or arrogance, because that is not love, that's always fear. I'm talking about just really respecting and appreciating this incredible, magnificent being that we are. You know, little babies know how to love themselves. You were born in pure love, all of you. There's not one little baby alive I, that I know of that ever criticizes its body or ever says, my hips are too big. Have you ever heard a baby say that? <laughs> They're just thrilled and delighted that they have a body. And they rejoice in it. And they love themselves. They love their toes. They love everything about themselves. They absolutely adore. They f express their feelings. You know, when a baby is happy, you know it. When a baby is angry, the whole neighborhood knows it. They're never scared to let people know how they feel. They live in the moment. And they're filled with courage. And they're wonderful. And we were all like that. You've got to remember that you were filled with courage and you were full of love and you adored yourself when you were very little. I think that everything you think and everything you speak goes out from you into the universe and comes back to you multiplied. Uh, it's almost as though the universe is listening to everything you say and everything you think and saying, oh, that's what they want. But most of the time, we are talking very negatively about ourselves. We talk about how awful we are, we're not good enough, we can't get this, we can't get that. How can the universe bring you anything good if that's the way you're talking? What you're saying is a quality of life doesn't mean a really nice house or a really nice it car. It can, but it doesn't have to. But what good is a nice car if you are full of resentment all the time and you drive around hating everybody? That's not going to help anything. It's much better if you had an old car and you were grateful and, and appreciative of life. There is a law of thinking and we are beginning to learn about it. And it is like a computer. If you have this gorgeous computer put in front of you and you don't know what to do with it, it's a piece of junk. But if you learn the language of the computer, miracles happen. And that is what the law of thinking is. When you learn how it works, miracles happen. What you think and what you believe is what will come true for you. Your thoughts create your life. It's that simple. And when we can get that, we can make enormous changes. One of the things that I think about uh, the work that I do and the work our company does is that every product that we sell or that probably that you get as a gift from us uh, has the possibility to change the quality of your life, to improve the quality of your life. Now whether you actually take that opportunity or not is up to you, that's exactly. freedom. Exactly. But you have everything we give out can help people really improve the quality so of their lives. And it's that true. feels good. When we have a problem, 
most of us go, oh, panic, panic, God, what are we going to do, blah, 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 blah. But I have something that I try to get people to say. When the minute there's a problem, you stop and you go, all is well. All is well. Everything's working out for my highest good. And out of this experience, only good will come. And I am safe. And you do this. If it's a small thing, I say it two or three times. If it's a bigger issue, I babble it incessantly. But all is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. And I am safe. Now, this gives... This quiets your inner turmoil down long enough for the universe to find the solution to the so-called problem. See, when there's problems, we don't have to fix problems so much. We need to fix our thinking and our attitude about how we respond to them. And then you get less and less. And when, and when the solution comes, you say thank you. You start by doing what we call doing affirmations. And that is making positive statements about your life that are positive. And you do them deliberately. You might do them in the morning, you might do them at noon, you might do them at night, uh, you might do them you know, twice a day or, or whatever. But you do this and you let this become a habit. And as you start to do them, things will begin to change, maybe on a very small level. I call it getting the green lights in the parking places. I mean, they're not huge things in your life. They can be very nice when you get three green lights in a row and, and you're in a hurry. You know? yeah, yeah. Doing an affirmation is either writing it down, writing it on the wall or the mirror, or using a, a, a you know, just saying it. What I like people to do is to stand in front of a mirror and do their affirmations. Because there's something very powerful about looking in your own eyes and getting and accepting yourself or noticing that you reject yourself when you're saying something positive about yourself so that would be a very beginning way to start say in the morning you get up in the morning you go to the mirror and this is a big one and it's hard for lots of people but you look in the mirror and I say and say I love you I really really love you and to begin with, that can be so hard for people because they think of all the things that they think are wrong with them. But if you can start your day saying that, it's very powerful. We do have a tendency in, in the mm -hmm. society to just want to be fixed, right? Yes, to have, and that's it. And that's it. When, yeah. when I get over this problem, this will be it. I'll never have to deal yeah. with anything again. Well, you know, a lot of us just want to stop when we hit a safe place. Yeah. I mean, you've got a bit of money. You've got some nice friends. You have a good house to live in. You're okay, you know. And uh, you think, all right, that's fine. I'm not yeah. going to touch anything else. But I have watched me and how life works hmm. for me is that when I get to a really good level then it's like okay now we're going to deal with this thing yeah. yeah and there's another thing yeah. and I've learned to just say okay what do I do yeah. yeah you know instead of leave me alone don't talk to me yeah. about that yeah I say thank you many 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 times of the day often not to anyone else I just you know oh thank you that's so wonderful thank you and it's uh you know, you find more and more things to be thankful about. We were, I was driving up today from uh, San Diego, and the, the wildflowers on the hillsides are just beautiful this year. And I was thinking, I was so glad that I had the opportunity to see them. Because if I stayed down there, I wouldn't have. But this drive, which was, you know, not a drive I particularly wanted to make, but it was gorgeous. If you have very strong beliefs within you that you don't deserve good things in your life mm -hmm. and a lot of people have that then there can be delays and sometimes people say well affirmations don't work I've done them but it, when they're doing for instance prosperity affirmations and they've done some prosperity affirmations and they say it doesn't work nothing's happening and I say well alright how many prosperity affirmations did you do in a day and they'll say three probably mm -hmm. and they say alright how many poverty affirmations did you do this day and that could be 300 depending on where you're coming from and what are, is running through your mind See, I have this, one of my thoughts about life is that only good lies before me. And I have been saying this for many years. So it doesn't really matter to me what happens in life because I know it's going to be good.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I made this video because Kyle Odgers asked me to. So if there's a famous entrepreneur that you want me to profile next, leave it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. I'd also love to know which of Louise's top 10 rules had the biggest impact on you and what change you're gonna make as a result. Leave it in the comments below and I'll join in the discussion. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to believe and I'll see you soon.